Okay, hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. Can you hear me fine? What's up? Uh, yes, Perfect. I can hear you. Huh. Let me just uh, figure I can... out the video real quick. All right. I can load the game uh, using Panda Jelko and invite you, or you can find it in the games window, I guess. Is the game against K, Q, some numbers, right? Yes, that's correct. All right, let me see. You you were really you were quick. killing big uh, in the lower right corner, but you died instead. That, yeah, that, exactly. That's a pity. Exactly. So let's let's um, have a look. There we go. Got your video. That looks about right. Okay, perfect. And then, what am I looking for? So, um, let me see the tree file. Oh, hi everybody. I think you should check oh, the it. games. Um, yeah, you're in. So let's Perfect. let's go to the end to check something in the in the fight in the lower right corner. That was the most critical moment of the game. You died in the top right corner a little bit unlucky, I guess. Hang on. I mean, you played you played real quick and you could kill that top right corner. But that was not such mm -hmm. a big problem. You were killing everything in this lower right. Let's back up a few moves. This monkey jump was sure. good, but you are already like 10, 15 points behind. So it's it's really hard yeah. to get back into the game after losing the lower right corner. How many moves do I have to go back here? Hang on. Uh, there was a very nice sequence, but you had to, to keep him short on liberties all the time. If you start from... O oh, one, ah, here comes. Because you're also pretty short on liberties. When he played his P one, mm -hmm. if you go Atari here, and he connects, otherwise you take a stone, you go in the corner, and everything changes. You have like three liberties, but once you cut the sequence, it's all forced. He has to play Atari. Then you go Atari S five. He has to take. Uh... Then Atari again, so you throw in one stone just to squeeze him, and then you take away a liberty at S1. So now it's uh, two against three. If he goes down here, you just play Atari. And if he struggles, for example, he can play um, T2, you just descend. And now he's got two liberties no matter what. He can do anything. He can throw in, but uh -huh. you take a stone, and then... When he plays Atari, you go Atari. So you kill him faster in the corner. And he also dies automatically with the group inside here. So you win big now. It's like, I don't know, 80 points difference. One handed. Hard you know, to count. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about a sequence kind mm -hmm. of like that, but then I just didn't see it through. Yeah, you had, through, you had to, so. to see the cut and the squeeze because you immediately take away all his liberties. And in the beginning, let's go back to the first part. You started a little sure. better than him uh, in Fuseki. Well, first of all, here, Black should uh, attack the corner. It's more interesting than just extending to, to the side. And there are all kind of just like, like, he can play the Hane, you pull back. And now he doesn't even have to finish this way, which is the basic pattern. He can uh, try to be uh, faster. So attack here, for example, and then uh, defend D7, approach this way. So he could combine Josekis a little bit and try to develop much faster all over the board. So okay. this, this is an interesting uh, way of playing for black. But he went for the middle of the side. Then you approach very well. He played the kick. This is the wrong kick because it allows you to extend R10 in a few moves. This is always nice for uh, white. And he should defend mm -hmm. 3 4 When he plays the O-Gamer here, you can attach, then Sun Sun, then the Hane, and like this you reduce the corner in center and force him into an over-concentrated shape or the so-called Korigatachi. Let's type it here. That's the over-concentrated formation and then extend. So black, black, oh, okay. black it's a little bit low like this, like all his stones are on the third and second line, so he's not going to build too much territory in the corner. 
I see. So you could punish uh, the old gamer playing P4 and Sansan. But extending R10, it's also ideal. And when he played R12, you don't have to worry so much about the uh, R8 invasion. You should just come from the outside, which means uh, O17. Uh, play from the most open area all the time. So here, if he plays like a double up, you just extend. So you get to extend in the open space in the top. And later you can still consider invasions like R14 or R15. But right now that, that top right corner is not so interesting because you're developing on like three parts of the board. You have a group on the right and you got a lot of potential in the top and the left side where it's still open. And he has something in the top right corner and the lower right area. So you can already say that but it's slightly ahead in this Fuseki. I see, I see. Huh? <laughs> What's about the hair? <laughs> I don't know what I'm, he means. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing a lot of hair, so don't worry about it. <laughs> if, if I slap the, the door of my fridge too, too hard, I'm completely bald. <laughs> so anyway, um, when you jump here, it, it feels a little passive. Because the thing is, uh, if you play in the top and then extend and black invades, you can just cover, let him connect under, it's no big deal, and then you jump out into the center. So this group is quite flexible. Okay. <laughs> yeah, probably. Daniel is lo losing games he shouldn't. So I, I can't sleep at night when I watch that. <laughs> Q Q17, it's uh, the right block for black. Because uh, there's more potential in the top. And then he can play R14, Hane. But what happened in the game was uh, a little risky for both of you. So now you just go for a big place uh, somewhere else. You don't have to forget that every time you take Sente, you should play in the most open spaces on the board. Okay. So he blocked from the wrong side because like this R12 area, it's a little smaller than going for a Moyo in the top. Then you play the Hane. This was a little bit risky. He can cut you right away. And sure. when he cuts, you gotta leave in the corner, this way. And now you also need Han and connect, otherwise you die. And he can play another move to capture that stone, just like this. It's a net, and it works. If you try to come out, he blocks, and those two stones will die. But he didn't play like this, and somehow you were crushing him, and all of a sudden you die. Ah, inst <laughs> instead of this cut, you should Han first, he blocks, and then you cut here because you're trying to uh, double Atari. So he needs to extend, gotcha. then you play Hane on the other side and connect with a hanging or solid, because now you can cut him N17, so he has to protect here, and now you protect the corner, so you build something like eight to 10 points in the corner. All these points are your territory. If, sure. if you have enough, I mean, more space than six in square in the corner on, on the side, you're pretty much alive. And there is still some AG, uh in the cut at R15. And if you look at Black's position, all of his stones are uh, pretty much over-concentrated. So taking the corner like this, it's good enough for White. So what happened in the game? You cut him, then uh, he got scared and connected there. The ladder was working, huh? If you cut him off. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. And actually, it's, it's not even a ladder. What you can do... Uh, <clears throat> Let's say he blocks here, then you play Atari, he comes out, you play this move, he blocks, you can play the Nobi, he either connects or he plays Atari here, then you can squeeze him again, and next you play Atari and net, like this, and jump. So you kill those three stones and you save the corner, it's neat, no? For white, looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's beautiful. So let's see how you died. You shouldn't. This was the first mistake <laughs> of the game, I think. Yeah, and the second sure. one was not killing the lower right when you had the option. So instead of playing the Nobi, you should go Atari right away. Because like this, you don't have to come later in the game and play another move at P12. If you just Atari right. and he comes out, you play Atari under, he turns, and next is Atari and he's uh, captured directly. So, okay, he played the Hane. Then you blocked, he played this move. Now you should Hane once uh, this way. So you're trying to 
expand and to prevent the P18 in center, he has to block, mm -hmm. and then you should go down. Because now if he goes Atari here, and you play Atari like this, and he takes a stone and you go down, you're already alive in the corner. This is a living shape, four in an L formation like this. He can't kill, okay. but he cannot live on the side because when he goes S15, you just Atari. And when he plays uh, <clears throat> T17, you Atari T15, so that's one eye. And if he plays T15, you Hane. Again, it's one eye. So this is a very clean kill. You can leave in the corner and let him die by playing T18. You played... Okay. Ah, you went down. Oh, okay. So... Ah, you played the Hane T13. If you play T18 right away and he goes P18, then you have to block. He goes Atari. You have to connect. And he connects. You have one, two, three, four liberties. So now it's pretty much a call. You can go Atari inside and Atari outside like this. Then he will remove a liberty. You take the call. And then you gotta fight it. So he'll play here as a call threat. You go out, he takes the call. If you remove this liberty, he goes Atari, you take the call. And now where are his threats? You don't answer anything. He can probably play attach here, but you'll close your eyes and take everything. And then he plays another move. I think this is still okay. better than the game because you can kill the top yeah. right where you died. Mm -hmm. But I think all you have to remember from this fight it's to expand your liberties. So if you play this move and he goes Hana in the corner, then you go down and now he leaves and you extend. This is a pretty good sequence for white because he leaves with two eyes and you take away, you damage everything in the top. So now he is uh, 016, it's floating next to take away the base. And another thing about this position, it's uh, when black plays Hane, you just go down. So this is 16 square. The group is alive. See you later, Raza Maza. Or Raza Mataz. Raza Mataz. See you later. Alright, so this way you leave. And he still has to come back and uh, survive. And then you just play a big point. Shimari or extend to the middle of the left side. But you probably still owe a move here like you did in the game. Okay. So I think enough variations from uh, this position. The top right, you need to, to remember how to stay alive and then kill. And the lower right, that was the, the nice part, the highlight of the game. Let's go further a bit here. Oh, you could also kill very nice those top left stones. I think at some point you could cut F15. But you, uh, okay. you you were winning big. I mean, when you played M6 and you started to attack this group, it looked good for you. So first you leave, try yeah. to leave in the corner. Ah, another thing about this corner, you can play C18, then Atari D18, and then capture the stone. Because now the corner dies, and it activates the edge of uh, F15. F15 will kill those three stones. The way you played, you couldn't really play F15 because he can play E16. Uh, so le let's say he plays here. Something to, to save the middle stones. And then you wedge. If he goes Atari on the left and you pull back, he can only connect here and give you the three stones. So this is a better way to kill the corner because you create a, a follow-up. I see, I see. So how we go back here? Oh, for some reason, something is wrong with the file. It doesn't show me all the moves. Hang on a second. Let's check the tree again. I will save this file, the, the file and send it uh, later by email. Oh, thanks. oh, it's only up to move. Foo, what did I do? Ah, no. We still have all of it. It's good. Ah, oh, yeah, so in this corner. Well, that stone is not so big to save. Ah, when he played Atari here, you can play this move, then Atari, and then connect. Now the corner dies again. He can make one eye at B19, but you activate the edge of F15. So he needs to connect here. 
which means you're center and then you can start the attack in the in the middle. But if you try to cut now, after all this fight, it doesn't work anymore. If you try this move, he will play here, you pull back, he plays here, and now you need to save the corner and he will connect. And if you become too ambitious and cut, that's too much. He will take two stones and leave with everything. This is the way he lives in the corner. So you gotta pay attention how to um, make the, this kind of kills more effective. And saving one stone is not so interesting. If you play, for example, this move, then Nobi, to prepare a little bit, and this one, and then Hane, or Keima, now those stones in the middle, they die. They can't connect to the bottom anymore. Because if he tries, he will play here, you pull back, then he plays Hane, you block. If he cuts, you go Atari. If he connects, you play this move. And if he goes left, you just do this. So everything dies in the center and he needs to come back and protect. And what happens on the left side, he goes Atari, you play Atari, and he captures one stone. So for him it's got it to play and capture a couple of points here. Like one, two, three, about four points. So it's not so interesting. You better kill the center. How much is this? If you capture everything. That's so much more. Yeah. Yeah. It's a better deal for white, huh? It's at least 16 yeah. Christian captures. Yeah, and the surrounding territory, that's right. It's very big. So you play the Hane, then how it was. Ah, you cut, went out, so far so good. Uh-oh. Ah, you can play Atari first. Just turn, he comes out. Uh... And then instead of connecting, you can play the hanging connection. So you're threatening to, to destroy more on the bottom. And now with the, the Atari of 06, he can't do anything in this area. He can play here. And you just connect and he's surrounded. So that's how you can kill everything pretty clean. But later in the game, it became messy. So he goes Atari, Atari again. Oh, you turn, that's good. Then connect under, all good. Nice move. S6, it's a, it's a pretty good Tesuji. Then he comes out, you play the few Ataris. This was the moment where you can uh, finish him off. That's not mm -hmm. a great move for Black. He should play this one to threaten the snapback and then try to connect here. But anyway, he played Atari. How come you lost all your liberties here? Ah, instead of this move, you should slide. Because if he pushes, you block. When he plays here, you connect. When he connects, you just take everything. Easy way to kill Ola. Uh, okay. So you play this one. Ah, and now, now you can play Hane. And then the hanging connection. So he needs to play something in the corner to survive. And then you just go down. And you're alive. For White, okay. it's enough to live with this bottom group because the middle will die automatically. Mm -hmm. So, ah, yeah, this was the losing move. Playing uh, O2. If you play P1 and he still tries to kill you like this, you do the same sequence as before. You cut, then Atari. Atari again, and then you have this Tesuji, S1. Because if he goes down, you just play the Hane in the corner. When he plays here, you connect. When he pushes like this, you go Atari, and that's it. And when Atari, you take everything. So that's how you gotta play in the next games. All right, Okay. <laughs> enough with this review. <laughs> Let's save it and kill somebody. Take, take revenge. <laughs> Sure. You can you can try to play some fancy moves in the opening, like five four, five three, five five, but you can also play normal moves as you like. Okay. Anyway, the interesting part it's uh, actually uh, winning those close fights, like in this uh, lower right corner. So I'm going to trail you. Hang on. Any Japanese available at this time? Uh, there, there's usually somebody, but this oh, looks I see. like yeah, this like... is the guy you played before. Oh no, no, it's something, somebody. No, this is uh, I... someone from Singapore. Oh, okay. And I'm playing as white. I'm watching you using GLGo, so they don't show me the flags. It's a an old client. <clears throat> 
So he, right, he played just right, in the top right here. corner. Yeah, that's good. Now you can play e4, e5, e3. Some moves go for outside influence and confuse him. <laughs> Yeah, 5 4 uh, like E. Try. Yeah, or oh, 5 sorry. 3. It's okay. It's fine. Yes, and Travix were trying a 5 4 well, and a 5 3. Wow, this guy's playing <laughs> Sun and Say like Takemiya cosmic style. That's rare nowadays. Sure. But, yeah, people try. I guess a, approaching O3 looks really good. <laughs> yeah, O3 is nice. This guy has more than 3,200 rated games. Well, play That's a lot of games. Yeah, playing R6 with Sun and Say, it's a little bit contradictive. He should play something high to go for outside influence. Where do you feel like extending next? Somewhere uh, on the bottom side. Prob yeah, L4 looks... L4, yeah. Okay. Works nice with E3. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. And hello, Ryota Kun. <clears throat> this guy is thinking. So he's already confused, I guess. <laughs> uh huh. San San, the famous trendy move everybody plays nowadays. Like the top rows. So what to do here? What's your first? Uh... <laughs> My first is d5. d5 came the knights moves yeah, around. Good. Yeah. Put some pressure. Make the wall facing l4 can be bad. Now. And then just no b. All right. D6. Yeah. Keep it simple. Good morning, Pinback99. What did you do with the first 98 Pinbacks? Hmm. <laughs> he gives you more thickness now. Nice guy. Uh, yeah, I can just extend one more. Yeah, yeah, get ahead. Hmm, interesting peep. What does that do? Thanks for the follow pin back. Um, my first instinct is probably G4, just because uh, the cut. If he cuts, you can extend G4 or H3 after he cuts, so you should actually turn at C7. Because if he cuts, ah, then okay. you extend, so... Like this has a little problem with the corner. There's an ST RG when you play C2. Hmm, he cuts anyway. So yeah, now you can extend G4, you can extend H3, or you can even consider C2 and pull back. And then try to go B4. Mm. But jumping G4 is just fine. Let, let's try that first. That feels yeah. really solid. It's nice because you, you build a lot on the bottom. And he's got two stones floating into the center. <laughs> this is a, a an assisted go game. Some of the chat is calling it Cornell bagging instead of sandbagging. Oh, I just oh, did I that without that. thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. You should know, yeah? Mm. Now we got to save the situation somehow. So let's read a few moves ahead. What happens when you just block F3? Is he going to cut and go down and then die? Anyway, you don't have too many options. Uh, you you only have yeah, one option here. <laughs> block and uh, take away a liberty. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to backing you up a little bit here. Well, I only suggested one move, C7, so far. The rest were inspired, inspired moves. <laughs> I didn't mention anything about 5-4, five, 5-3. Five, <laughs> you did say I need to start trying other yeah. other openings, though. So. Hmm. Interesting huh. move. What to do? Let's see your first instinct. Don't play the move and say, oops, I died. <laughs> My first instinct <laughs> is to play h6, actually, and just yeah, it's good. threaten the crane's nest. Right. Now he will be greedy, cut, go down, and... Or maybe, I think after 3,000 games, he should be aware of the crane nest and double up with g7, or maybe Kosumi g8. Ah, the other bamboo. So there is still a problem, huh? With G3 and going down. Yeah, I have to connect G3. Ah, uh, huh. Thinking. I'm still looking at C2. But yeah, G3 is proper. So go ahead and stay connected. Now what to do with the left side group? Maybe the mistake was quite expensive. Could be. Yeah, yeah. not to play. Because if he Han A's, then I have a really heavy group. Mm -hmm. Or I, I can think, just I give think up he... the four stones. No, no, we don't give them up so easily. Uh, but Han is not such a big problem. He can try D9 Kema. Yeah, he knows something. So, how to fight? Tricky now. I would... Let's see, if I attach, he's going to Hane. I'll have to drop. He'll connect. Uh, yeah, it's not so great. If you just play C9 and okay. he Hane and you go down or you cross cut, it's going to be tricky. So you should, you should do something about the corner first. C2. Yeah, we're back to C2. Yeah, let's see how he reacts to that. Because if you get some center moves like B7, then it's easy to jump out to C10. So... Mm -hmm. Let's see here. How can we combine everything? B4 or D2? <clears throat> Just pull back. Then he has a, yeah he has a problem when you go B4 next. So he'll probably play B4. Mm -hmm. But B4 is not so great for him. He may die. Because then you have D3 and Han and connect, lots of outside liberties. So it's better not to lose those four stones. Whoa. He found a pretty good move. So you need some liberties now. What's the first instinct? You got to think where he wants to play next. Uh, <clears throat> right. B7 is the first yeah. instinct for me, just to drop down straight. Yeah, to expand the liberties. Yep. That's where he wants to play also. Mm -hmm. Now we need more liberties. So what to do? Um, I can play C10. C10, let's see what happens. It's a little bit dangerous, because he will go B9, then you push, then he pushes... You cut, he turns, B10, then you gotta go no B or Hane, he goes Atari Atari and you die. You can just go uh, B9, and if, okay. if he doesn't respond with B4, you start with B4 and kill him faster. <clears throat> uh -huh. If he tries to kill you now, aha, uh -huh, he noticed. And then you can play another move on the left side. And it doesn't have to be C10, you can go further. C11. Yeah, it's looking at C11. So you're out. He's still a little bit in danger. Well, he's alive on the left side now. What to do now? First instinct. Uh, just a nobi. To C12. Try D, D12, honey. Put, put oh, okay. more pressure. <clears throat> if he goes C10 and he cuts, you'll probably build more. He will know B2. Ah, no, he tries this. Okay. Block him. 
then Atari Atari and you start building some territory on the fourth line or he dies in the center mm, nice what to do um, C12 just connect is okay about... I mean I could mm -hmm. Atari first yeah you can Atari first that's good and then instead of C12 <clears throat> you should just extend because if you imagine he plays uh, C12, you connect B11, and then he goes Atari E12, and you go D13. So you just have to imagine the exchange of C12, B11, it's on the board, and it's the same thing. You play E11, and then you extend. It's like the exchange is in place already. Okay. And you build slightly more. And with this Atari, you force him come back. So extend D13. I just realized I shouldn't type I could talk, huh? Oh yeah, it's all <laughs> good. Either way. So um your sentence. The lessons are really affordable to definitely check them yeah, out. Usually if you're around, yeah, usually it's around fifteen euro per hour, but depends on the package, so it can go between I don't know, twelve, thirteen euro per hour. I don't even know my price list. I changed it completely in two thousand eighteen, <laughs> so I have many um options available but they are listed on my uh, KGS account so you can simply view info Cornell on KGS or send me an email and I can write back so what to do here let's look all over the board this fight on the left side was quite tricky but you got a nice bottom territory and he has a very small corner and now I you have to look at the most open side, which is the top. Right. I was looking at either K16 or just approaching at like O. O17. O17. Yeah. yeah. It's good to go for the outside approach. Okay. Because you have more space to extend towards the top. Hmm. They like this kick, but it's always wrong. And yeah, now, I, I heard it's only good if I'm already pincered. Yeah, yeah. If there is a black stone at K16 or K17, P17, it's the right uh, way to attack. But now, you're happy to extend K16, I guess, this time. K17 is good. Oh, whoops. Sorry. No, either way, it's fine. This is more territorial when you play the third line. When you play K16, you're looking to uh, step into the center also. Hmm. How to play real aggressive against this move? I can attach at C17. Mm. But there, there is more space in the top right. I mean, if you go C17, right. he'll harness C18, you pull back, and then he extends G17. So maybe it's more interesting mm -hmm. for you to block his extension towards the right, so attack him at F17, for example. Because on, on the left okay. side, you're pretty strong. And this extension looks nice with K17. Yeah, for sure. So now he came out, and then you can attach C17 and put a lot of pressure. Because he will be running with everything. So it's good to anticipate a few moves before you decide what to do. C17, it's okay when there are like no other stones in the top, and you just want to make sure the left side is safe. Pull back here. And then he needs to play E18 or push F16. But he's going to run a bit. Uh-huh. What's the first instinct here? To make a good shape and be effective. Yeah, it's, for me it's to play G17. Try something else. Try something else. To be even more effective and take away his base. He was supposed to play E18 to make some eye shape. So you can think about that move. Right, right. It threatens a cut to... Okay. And then, and instead, of, instead of G17, which is heavy, you can play a flexible shape. 
Yeah, I can do like a one space hop from there, or I can, yeah. Yeah, H seventeen. One space yeah. jump, it's really bad. Oh, excuse me a second. Yeah, no worries. That's my wife. Hello. Salut. Is like. Hmm. Sorry for that. So. No worries. I'm looking at F14. Mm, very good. Got him. Now what? Now you need to find oh, a move to, to force him into a bad shape. Of course the plan is to cut, but there are like two ways to cut. I actually both are pretty interesting. You can cut directly at G13, and if he cuts you back at F13, mm -hmm. he's in an empty triangle. Or you can push F13 and then cut. So you have a pretty good shape, and then he has to worry a little bit about those two stones in uh, uh, in the center, the F12. So Yeah, I like that. It, That's a little more solid. Yeah, either way, it's pretty okay. Because he's in trouble with both groups, the one in the middle and the one in the top. Yeah, maybe this one is much more easier to continue. But G13 would be good too. Because when he cuts F13, you just pull back E14 and then he has to extend. Uh, then you push G12, G11, or push to the right. Then try to exit at F11 or squeeze him. Mm, there were a few interesting moves to read ahead. But when you play online in, yeah, a, sure. in a fast game, you don't have time to check all the variations. So you got to follow your first instinct most of the time. In a tournament, I would spend some time to, to choose between these two cuts. They look pretty much the same, but it's not. Now, for example, uh, you got to choose between pushing again along a G11 or turn H12. Again, it's an interesting decision to take. Both moves are pretty good and interesting. Like, the the yeah. thing is, when you push G11, if he doesn't respond, then you Atari, Atari, and he's in trouble. So he will know B for sure. And then you can play Kma J13 or jump J12 and try to surround the top. If you play the other move, yep. which is also good, you force him go out at J14 or something like that. And then you can think about, oh, interesting. This guy is brave. <laughs> what to do? Um, Th this gives you F more. Uh, ten. Hane first. Don't don't play Atari. Just Hane oh, yeah, H yeah. ten, because next you want a double Atari. So he'll play Nobi. And then your shape becomes even stronger. So it's much easier to surround the other group, like J thirteen mm -hmm. for example, to put more pressure. So this group is now alive, the one in the lower left, uh, middle left, but the one in the top is still suffering. Came at J13, so, it's a good move because you're trying to to surround and press that group. Yep. Not not enough. I was just looking at that one. So. Not not enough to play J12, which is good shape. But he can attach J. Oh, he plays Atari. Hmm, risky for black. There is only one move here. Yeah, I no. just have to connect. Right. And now, interesting what to do next. Uh -huh. oh, also, only one move. But it's yeah, going it's... to be a tight fight. I can cut. Yeah, yeah, cut him. Cut where you can cut. That's the advice from Lessons in the Fundamentals of Go. One of my favorite Go books. I think I read that book when I was like 20Q, and then when I was 2Q, and when I was 5 done. Each time I understood something else from the book. Okay, here you gotta read a few moves ahead. So it's Atari, Atari, Atari. Or Atari, Atari the other way. 
Yeah, you, you should start from G15 and then go out with the two stones. That's two. Mm, one five. Yeah. And then when he comes out, you play Atari again from the right and Atari again and connect and he has to leave in the corner. Or wait a second, if we Atari and go out again, ah, that's even more interesting. Who this guy can die big. Let's see what happens if you cut. So you cut, he turns right, you go out, he might attack again, you go out, he takes a stone and you surround. Yeah, you should uh, false his eye. H16. <laughs> yeah, V farted. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. And come out, right? Yeah, yep. you got to extend. You want to kill all. If you protect F15, you only kill like the corner. And he takes three stones. But now he will struggle and he just gives you more. He will probably play Atari K15. Yeah, you got to go out again. Yep. And then he's dying all over. Now there's also only one move. Uh... Surround. L15. And those three, okay. those three stones in the center are still suffering. Yep. I think before you turn or try to kill those stones, you should attack the three stones at E13. Uh, the good book to read. I, I will write it down. And now, how can you capture those three stones in the middle and save the four? You can uh, think about a net. You don't have to play Atari, you don't have to try to set up a ladder. Just find the net. Hmm. That's a Tesuji for you in this game. K11 feels like it works. Yeah, K11. And if he connects, what you do next to capture everything? Then I'd play L12. Right. That's the way. Now this is some good flow of uh, white stones in the middle. And he died very nice with the top left corner. Okay, teach him the basic capture. Ladders and nets are usually good. What you do? Oh, thanks a lot. I should be a DJ. <laughs> B16. Just block. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this guy dies in Gotha, nice. Mm, maybe he'll try Atari C12, then push, then you block, then Hane, Atari, Hane again. You need to pay attention here. So, I think it's kind of proper to play something like B12. Well, he's trying to leave, but there we go. he's also trying to kill you. Oh, actually it didn't work. Ah, uh, I misread. He didn't need a move here. Because when he pushes C13, <laughs> you block, then he... Ah, okay. Anyway, he, he can't leave, so... B12 was ultra cautious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I realize, I realize when he pushes C13, you block, he throws in Atari and everything, but then you capture B13. Misread. That happens when you're distracted by the chat. Cheap, cheap excuse. Now here, <laughs> let's see. What's the next move? Block or no B? Uh, My opponent wants to play J17, right? Yeah, but if you play J17, you Atari under, and when he connects, he's in Atari. So, yeah, you can you can just block, take away, take away the liberty. L16. Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. Whoa, what a zoom, mommy. Hang on. All right, so don't play Atari. Usually on uh, cross cuts, you just extend. 
So in this case, you can go down K18. Because if you play Atari, you remove your own liberties and it's not great. Yeah, he died in the Gote in the top left, but he's still trying. So how to kill? That's an easy, um, easy to make go. Yeah, I can start with D19 and then hmm. throw in the center. Yeah, D19, Hane. Take away the liberties, uh, the space. That's good style. And now, there's the classic triangle. <clears throat> so, he should give up. Or ask for a rematch. Ooh, he dies in Gothic again. He just, be, <laughs> he just built a false eye. Nice guy. So, let's look all over the board. Where to invade? Uh, build. Q12 is good. It works with my strength in the center. Yeah, you can try that. Then... It's very good. Q12. Perfect. That's like uh, when you play uh, and you give like 9 handicap. Those are the kind of invasion you play. Mm. He prepares some counter attack now. That's a Kikashi. Center force move. You got a block. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what? You need to try uh, some flexible moves here. If you just play P12 and Hihane, O12, you're forced to play P11, which is uh, an empty triangle. But Yeah, it's just going to go for P11 straight away. Uh, no, no, no. If you play P11, he will push P10, then you got a Nobi again. Let's uh, mm -hmm. let's check a P but R15 first. Okay. And then from R15, you can jump to S12, uh, and S12 will have a follow-up at R9, or continue pushing R16. From S12, you can jump both ways to, to make a base. So even if he surrounds okay. P12, you're not interested. Because you live on the side. Oh, that's a good move, but you don't have to answer because it's uh, a little bit heavy. So continue R9. You're more interested to destroy the side than to go out into the middle at P12, P11. Because if you place stones in the center, they don't work. You have the wall already at uh, L12, so he's going to build nothing. Uh, okay. So it's better to damage all the side where he had potential originally. So those moves like Q12 and R15 are... Uh, pretty much bait S10 so, yep and now if he goes S11 he gives you some eye shape oh he peeps again instead of a cut that's nice yeah it's just S9 yeah or is that too heavy S9 yeah I just connect no no it's not heavy his peep was a thank you move Well, I try not to be greedy with my teaching fees. Well, you don't have to be greedy when you play either. That can... I hope to make some time tomorrow evening and uh, play some games on Taijam. I just set up a new account there uh, with, oh, the, with the same name uh, as on IGS or KGS, so simply Cornell. But they forced me to start as a 3-dan. So there's a lot of work to go up to 9-dan. But we'll be entertaining mm -hmm. huh? to, For sure. uh, to play some games, drink some wine and kill the Koreans. So, and, and probably <laughs> some Chinese too. Uh, Q9 here, just go out. Because you, okay. you need a little bit of uh, power in order to use S7 clamp. Yeah, I was looking at the clamp. Yeah, well, in, in most of my games, you, you'll see big slaughter, so. Yeah. I try to play calm, but... They they provoke me, so I got a kill. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works, yeah. 
probably yeah, yeah, in, yeah. In, in the exact same order. Or maybe drink some wine, play some go and crush them. The order can, can change, but anyway, that's, that's the idea. <laughs> J11 here, only move. Well, that invasion, it's already a success. You can wedge R11 or you can hunt it. I like the wedge because it creates some mm -hmm. uh, shortage of liberties. It gives you a base, then you can push into the corner. Ah, uh, he heard me. Push, <laughs> push one more time, P9. And then play R11 because it gives him a bad empty triangle. Maybe you don't even have to play S7. You can just invade R3. He will probably, uh... oh, that's a good uh, advice, thanks, Cake. So I think I need to click on one setting to record the videos, right? Yeah, uh, yeah that's correct, yep. Play R11 first. You can play Han also, but I think he'll see the plan. Start from R11, he will attack you, connect, and then he has a problem. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, he didn't cut. Nice. Uh, push one more time, O9. Keep him separated all the time. Okay. Then it's big to play S13. So usually you want to make the eyes on the edges. And like this, you destroy a lot of territory. Yep. Or potential territory. He had a Moy originally, so it's not really a territory. It's just a dream. That didn't come true in this particular game. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. You can Han attack. S13. Oh, no, no. Wait a second. Cut him right away. Oh yeah, you can play S13 first. But it's also interesting to cut N10 and see how he reacts. Sure. Yeah, this is good. He doesn't want to play Atari Q11 to remove his own liberties. Smart by Black. But still. Diana? <clears throat> Aha, uh -huh. smart move. Gives you some eye shape. Take the stone. Hmm, what next? Just cut. Yeah, and take the other stone. Yep. You destroy more territory on the right side than expected. <laughs> yeah, in my regular streams, everyone's telling me that you're you're turning me into a into an to, assassin, into a soft <laughs> killer. <laughs> it, yeah, 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 the nicest killer you'll ever meet. <laughs> nice. You're killing them softly. <laughs> Well, you, you got to kill only when you want to survive and they let you look like, like this guy. He gives you two stones now. He's happy to block the corner. And then his other four stones are in trouble. Anyway, in, uh, in this fight on the right side, you need to take sent at some point and invade Sansa on R3. Okay. Well, the game is over for a long time. Top left corner was too big. And he died in Gote with E19. Oh, this is interesting. You can go out and kill two more stones. Or let him Atari, Atari, Atari and... <laughs> I don't think Crazy Stone is so entertaining. I'm not a big fan of bots. Yeah, so this guy designed before playing R3 and so on. So B12 was my bad. And you messed up a little bit the bottom when you play the Hane H5. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can play a game each against each other if you feel like real quick. Sure, yeah, we haven't done that yeah, since like, the, first, the first yeah. lesson, right? Okay. So let me let me just connect with my other uh, program. We can play sure. a bit. You can choose how many handicap you need to win. <laughs> <laughs> Not more than nine. I... <laughs> Five, six, oh, seven. So I guess it'll be <laughs> seven. Last time we. Well, I'm an eight Q, we... and you're you're a six don. So, so. so we need fourteen handicap. <laughs> 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 no, no, that's too much. We we can try six. I don't feel like overplaying too much. Sure, let's try six. And if you lose next time, we try seven, and then eight, and nine, and then when you start winning, we go down. I'm trying to reconnect here with Panda Go to. Why is it so slow? So, let's see. Okay, I met you. Mm -hmm. Six should be okay. Now that you know all my tricks, how to invade my Moyo and everything, uh, let's make it 15-10. Okay. <clears throat> Enjoy the game. Have a good one. Uh, let me see the chords. I will warn you, when something big is supposed to die, I'll let you know. <laughs> <clears throat> so far, a classic Joseki. If you play basic Josekis in each corner... Ah yeah, Baduk Stars is good. They bet a lot on Taichim, I think. Okay. I think if you play uh, normal Josekis in every corner, I will lose by 100 points. Oh, that's <laughs> not true. <laughs> I know better. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Do that. Let's try a submarine style approach. Mm-hmm. Go fight already? <laughs> I see how it is. Wow. No, when, when I play the three space F3, it's... Uh, well, I just want to extend further and build more. And if you kick E3 and I go up, it's already a good shape. Ooh, those two stones are big, but this corner is even bigger. So let's trade. Oh, we don't trade? Okay. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so the cut rate was kind of mild. Yeah, it was mild. For sure. Core humble, huh? A little bit. Well, big right side. You can't complain. And your center. Yeah, it, it's good not to play the kick E3 when K3 is already in place. That's today's lesson. In every game I've seen you play, they play the kick and let you extend ideal. So that, that's, yeah, I'm not sure why they do that's that. a habit you don't want to take from your opponents. Another submarine evasion. I don't even know if this is the proper way to call it, but... Yeah, when it's two space extension, you can kick because white is over concentrated. Yeah, that's another story. You want your opponent to be over concentrated, not to have a, an ideal shape. So now we cut and fight. Oh, I see. That's how Koreans do at three in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, they do. <laughs> and then they die. <laughs> Half of them die. Who? Good move.
I was about to play J5. You saw the plan. Yeah. A little so bit. So now... Da, 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 da. Dangerous. Mm -hmm. Trade time again. I take I yeah, take a, a Ponuki. He's good in a six handicap to have some power. Oh, that's a good point. I don't want to give you my K three. And let's use the cutting points. Interesting idea. Up we go, but first I need two stones in the corner. Yeah, I was kind of figuring those were dead already, so I didn't mind giving them up. It's another trade, it's fine. You took one stone. So... We gotta pick up another fight. Let me try a little reducing here. Ah, uh, so conservative. Not <laughs> fair. <laughs> mm. Can I probe here first? <laughs> Whoa. He let me. Mm. Turn. <laughs> uh, it's hard to say. Maybe there are still uh, four or five out of six. Or maybe three. But I'm happy I saved these two stones. Or one. Now they became three. <clears throat> I have to play B3 to defend against D1 in center. Hmm. Otherwise you would throw in and so on. So yep. how to answer this on Well, you have a big right side, nothing died. It's a pretty good game for black so far. So far, so far <laughs> I haven't died in major ways. Exactly. <laughs> we keep it simple. <clears throat> Double honey. How to protect? How about I don't protect? Okay then. No, you will cut me, so... I, I'm a chicken, <laughs> look. <laughs> I doubled up. 30 points on the right side. This feels good for black. I'm trying not to kill this time and build more than my opponent does but never know usually when you play white uh, it's good to play patient and solid even in handicap games no need to overplay too much uh oh somebody wants to cut me So I chicken out again. All right, that's a good spot.
mm -hmm. everything alive here or I'm I became a target Feels like I'm getting cut in pieces. So is black. Yeah, <laughs> that's a problem. Yep. Don't die. Yeah, that's a. It's a good thing to count during the game. So let's attack here. <laughs> to force this empty triangle yeah they always make fun of me because I end up counting after, after it's too after late after you die huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh... yeah it's good to count okay. from time to time or to estimate roughly but there is time for everything huh? Atari take Okay, I, I survived. But it was dangerous. Let's reinforce the left side. Whoa. Attack again. Who cares about the left side, huh? <clears throat> mm, good move. So I, I was supposed to build a lot in the center, but now it's gone. That was my goal. <laughs> nice. Oh, that cut again? No. No way. I connect to the outside this way. You really want to cut those stones. But let's see what happens here. Tom, Tom. Danger, danger. <laughs> danger, Will Robinson. Mm hmm How many liberties here? One, two, three. Let's test the waters first. So that was maybe too obvious, huh? There is a little bit. <clears throat> I feel scared. Don't, don't <laughs> be scared. Oh, look at that. I almost die. Indeed. Atari, who? Lucky escape. Oh, right, right. La last, I was looking at the escape. other Atari. Oh, the other, I could play the other Atari and connect, but this feels safe. Yeah. And now, take through strong, no, connect, take, what? Take, huh? Yeah, it's you 3D, yep. it's more points. Uh... Yeah, let's take. So this was the target, I see. Uh, but it doesn't really work, no? In fact. No. <laughs> <laughs> now we try to build some points here. Connect. Ooh la la, Atari. Thank you very much mm. for the group in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, uh, you know, I'm I'm pretty generous. Generous uh, to a fault, <laughs> as one of my friends yeah. says all the time. Clearly, clearly <laughs> to a fault. So, Honey wants 
then I can play a, a nice connection. See the meaning of the honey at Q11? If you push and you cut N11, then Atari N12 and it goes into Q11. So mm. I'm protected. I wonder what happens if white goes K2. We can save that for later. Yeah, I was looking at that. That That's looks the... like not fun <laughs> for me. That's another group going down. Uh, maybe. H17 is big. I play K1. K K2, you need to play to stay alive properly. If I play K2, yeah. then I cut J4. Mm. It's tricky. Me? All right, I'll play it now. <laughs> yeah, it helps. Yeah. But the center was really big, so. Yeah. That's how you need to kill the 9Q next. So, let's keep it simple. And save. How about this move? Hmm. Shape time. And... Well, as long as they're dead already. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> with, with this pip you ruin a cotret. You can keep it when we fight a big call and then threaten to go out. So it, ah, it's not so great to waste it uh, too early. So now some end game Thanks for the follow, Mr. Numbers. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead, no problem. This is a very big end game for White. Hane on the second line. Mm. And connect. Yeah, because I had S18, uh, huh? Yep. Let me show you something interesting here. Oh, Mr. J33. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Good feeling. Yeah, there's too many... Too, too, too many, many cutting points. points, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I think I can do that now, though. It's safe for now, but never know. So, if I peep, you connect, Atari, Atari... Nothing to do there. Can I play Atari here? Or it's too small? It's pretty small. <laughs> or is it? Uh, S3. Yeah. Hmm. I think I want to take this one. Smart. So you can have that one. And we're about to count soon, huh? Yeah, it's getting pretty close. Ta -da. Let's reduce. Yeah. 
a few points. Sneaky cut. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sneaky. That can happen sometimes. Yeah, it happens to me quite often. <laughs> um... <laughs> you have to pay attention in close fights when the liberties are taken away. So I like this group. We'll take it. So now you want to cut me, then Atari, Atari. Not so big. Let's take a stone. Okay. He doesn't want to play K10. I have an extra liberty 07. What? Wait, what happens? Uh, oh, I see. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> Mi minus one <laughs> point happened. Too, yeah. too obvious. Ah, uh, this was almost working. So, honey in the corner. Mm. And reduce some points. Tempting to cut. Yeah, it's <laughs> tempting to play this way. Well, this way. Let's see if I have to answer. Atari, Atari, Atari. Okay, th this is a little more dangerous, so I block. Uh huh. You could push here in center. All oh, right, right. I think you got like oh, fifty that's... points overall. Keep wanting to huh. see if I can live something in the center of it. No, those stones okay. are dead. Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, I have two eyes. Yeah, you have an eye because of killing F. But anyway, it was alive. Yep. Well, actually, D14 and Atari... E14 would be dangerous for ice, but you got the one at F10. Yep. Yep, yep. Uh, let's see, I guess this is big now. Okay, Atari here. Push. Honey, punk, punk, punk. R19 needs uh, only one point. Oh, this is tough. I have to answer. Oh, I could play this honey all the time, no? Ah, oh, it's one point. So one point here, one point here. Okay, that's one point. 
Well, each uh, empty intersection is one point. So, well, if you push if you push Q19 and I block P19, that destroys one point in center. So you keep the initiative, but that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's. I guess I have this. Oh yeah, that Tatar is also one point. And now Q19, and then we can check the score. If, uh, if you don't lose the pass, yeah. the center group, it's more challenging for white. Yeah, well, we gotta play the the neutral points actually. Oops. We we need to play these moves on IGS. I think it matters. You gotta take A3. Oh okay. We need to fill these neutral points. Also play A1. And then uh, G3 to force the Atari and connect. And it's probably also better right. for the audience huh, to see which are the neutral points, which are the valid points. C18, it's a false eye, so you gotta fill it. And yep. A17 for me. So that's pretty much it. Okay. So, pass. Now, these are the dead stones. Mm -hmm. Very generous in the middle, indeed. Thank you very much for the groups. Oh, you're <laughs> very, very welcome. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a bonus. <laughs> so, <clears throat> let's see the score. Uh, uh, 51 by 51. Thank you. We have to remember yeah. this. And next time when we play six or seven handicap, you gotta lose under 50. That's a target. Well, you can. I mean, good. well, if you don't lose this kind of group in the center when it's supposed mm -hmm. to, to stay alive, you should just keep connected uh, at K5. And then, I mean, well, you give me most of the territory around 05, but you don't lose all those uh, stones in the middle. And it's a closer game. Right, right. I have to fight uh, hard in the end game. So, anyway, mm -hmm. I hope it was entertaining and you learned a few things. Ne next week, Absolutely. next week I won't be around because I uh, have to. I organize a ski camp with my wife in uh, Ukraine, so we'll be away from Monday to Friday, skiing every day with some kids. Uh, nice. Thank you very much. But the week after, I'm around, so we can meet either Wednesday or Thursday, as you prefer. Probably Wednesday. We can keep the Wednesday in two weeks. Yeah, I like that. Or, Sounds great. Thank right. you so, so much for the lesson. Thanks too, and I hope you win the the next games. To, to show Roddy some uh, nice stuff you pick up from these games. And yeah, we will play again next time. It can be 7 right. handicap and we'll see. All the best. Sounds good. Ciao, ciao. Yep, have a great one. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Well, make sure you all support Cornell. Um, he's being really awesome doing these lessons with me online. It's fantastic. Oh, let me mute that. And um, yeah, it's a really good time. If you want to follow him on Twitch, make sure um, to follow him on Twitch as Cornell Go. He's going to have some games later. And whoops, I did a thing. There we go. Um, sounds like he's going to play some games and have a stream later this week. So that'll be awesome. Um. Yeah, and if you want to take lessons with Cornell, you can connect with him on KGS and also on IGS as Cornell. You can see it on there, and you can hire him for lessons. So, And if you love this content and want to support the streams, I do pay for Cornell for his time, so um, feel free to uh, donate if you want to. I'm not begging for money. I don't necessarily need the help. But if you want to support the stream that way, that's cool, too. Um, cool. So I think that's my whole spiel. Uh, we are very, very grateful for Cornell's lessons and being able to share those with the rest of the Go community. And so let's play a game on our own and see how we do.